What is going on my YouTube family? Sergeant Greybeard at Greybeard Gaming Group. Today is Monday, September 28th, and as always, I hope this message finds you healthy and safe. So today we're going to be showing you one of the fastest ways you can gain XP in the game. We have received a lot of messages from players and they're on that fence between being able to do challenging difficulty and heroic difficulty on their own. Today we're going to be trying to help those players again who are on that fence. This is really geared towards like beginners, people just returning to the game, new players, things like that. And it again is one of the most efficient ways to get XP in a fast amount of time. Two quick things before we begin. First of all, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful, please take a second and hit that like button. It really does help us out. For those of you who may be new to the channel, we have giveaways here and our current one is for an Xbox One S or a PlayStation 4 Pro. All you need to do to enter is subscribe to our channel here or you can follow us on Twitter. Either way is fine and we will be announcing the winner on November 5th of this year. And as I've said in all of my previous videos, watching our content is not a requirement to win. Only watch the things here you may enjoy. That's why we give you the option of entering the contest via Twitter. Having said that, let's jump into today's video. So our focal point today is going to be territory control, specifically one spot in downtown east. It's where I marked on the map right now. Now you can see that territory control is not there, but all we're going to do is reset the control points. Now I will show you and explain in a moment why I've chosen this spot. One thing I want to point out is I'm doing this on challenging difficulty with four directives going so I do get that XP bonus. Now as you can see in the screen I reset the control points and that territory control is there so all I'm going to do is fast travel to this location. And by the way, my friends, this is the slowest aspect of this farming routine because it's just the travel time and resetting control points. But you'll see in a second why I've picked this spot because you can just rip through it and you're gaining like a shade level every five minutes. All right, so now I've landed in that spot. I'm just doing a 180 heading to this location right here and you'll see how quickly you can get through these NPCs. So one of the reasons I've chosen this spot is these NPCs spawn in one of two ways. So after you've done this like good five, six, seven times, whatever, you're going to see the pattern and be able to totally pick it up each time. And once you do have that pattern down, you are going to be able to rip through this territory control so fast. You see they come out of this door right here. You just light them up and that's it. Now, from the time I traveled to this location to opening up the uh, box right here, it took 38 seconds to get over 222,000 XP. And it's actually even more than that because when you add in the XP from the NPC kills, probably closer to about 250. At this point, all I do is reset the control points. And the only reason I'm leaving the screen up and showing you is that this is the slowest part of the actual process in getting this XP. And you will see in a minute, once my map reloads up, that location will be there again. If it is not there, just reset the control points again. And all you're doing in this situation is just rinse and repeat nonstop. We have heard from a lot of players who really want to get through the season rewards quickly because there's a lot of great items in there that can really help your builds and really improve your character. And the other thing I want to clear up real quick is this, is that during the beginning of the season, there is double XP really fast. You can see that that territory control is there. I'm just going to fast travel once again. And like I said a moment ago, I'm showing you this continuous gameplay. I'm not cutting out any scenes so you can see how quickly this can actually get done. Anyway, going back to what I was saying a moment ago about the double XP bonus when a season starts is you only get that for the first 15 levels that you gain. However, with adding directives, you always do get that double, you know, you get that XP bonus. So whatever an event would normally do, you're going to get that double amount, which is why we're getting the over 222,000 when we do this each time. Now you can see in the screen this one's taking me a little bit longer because I've lost track of one of the NPCs. However, all of the first wave, there's only one wave of NPCs that come out and they come out of this door and it's fish in a barrel. You light them up and that's that. And to just do some simple math for you, it took me, since I started talking and we did this the first attempt, it has taken me two and a half minutes of gameplay in order to get over 500,000 XP. 
Therefore, you should be able to do three of these territory controls in about five minutes, which means you are going to be gaining a shade level every five minutes, which turns into about 12 shade levels an hour. And a few more things and we'll finish this up. Like I said before, this is on challenging difficulty with four directives. You can do more, you can do less, and obviously that will, you know, vary the amount of XP you're getting. I'm pretty sure with heroic, uh, this is a heroic attempt right now, and I think we get 297,000. But for me, doing it on challenging, you rip through it a little bit faster, and it's all about, you know, time management. One other thing I'd like to point out is I'm sure you've all seen videos about doing things, you know, with elite convoys or elite territory controls, stuff like that. The reason why I like this one, and by the way, this one can be an elite one here and there, is because it's the same spot, it's not moving, and you can just go over and over. One final thing as I wrap this video up that I'd like to point out is that this is just for XP. So if you are looking for that better gear, or you want to do heroic. I know a lot of players are going to be able to rip through this on heroic regardless. But again, like I said before, I wanted to put something together for the newer player. And look, if you're struggling on challenging, do this on hard or whatever difficulty you can run it on. This is a great spot to level up fast. And on that note, my friends, I think we're pretty much going to wrap up this video. Once again, thank you all so much for your continued support. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And like I said earlier, if you enjoyed this or it helped, hit that like button. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Most importantly, however, as always, take care, be kind, and we will definitely chat with you soon. And uh, yeah, thanks again, everyone. Have a great day.